guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another quick little video. As you can see, this video is about Taylor Frankie Paul. Yes, Miss Taylor Frankie Paul spilled a little bit more tea yesterday and today. She answered some questions in regards to mom talk, in regards to dating, and regards to what she's been posting on her Instagram story. So y'all know the drill. Hit that subscribe button and let's So Taylor Frankie Paul is showing the girls that she is not to be played with. She's saying that I'm not just some Mormon mom on TikTok. I got backbone and y'all not gonna bully me not today not tomorrow not no day so yesterday it all started when this post came up on her instagram she said those pics that were leaked of me were a year and a half ago at a cabin party not five years ago at a bachelorette party if you continue to spread lies i will continue to tell the truth and we don't want that do we so as you can see, Miss Taylor Frankie Paul decided to keep it cute and classy yesterday. She said a lot without saying too much. And then today, she decided to play a little Q&A. So Miss Taylor took to Instagram and asked her followers to send her some anonymous compliments. Although no compliments seemed to come through, a lot of spicy questions did. Well, the first three that caught my attention were these. And the first one was, would you ever be open to speaking to the Mom Talk ladies again? And Taylor's response was, I speak to all except for three. The next question was, spill the tea, sis. She said, I won't spill it unless I have to. She also went on to say, the question was, how are you doing for reals? You've been through a lot lately and you seem to be holding it all together very well. Taylor responded and says, this has been the absolute worst thing I have ever been through. Trauma and major loss. I have decent moments and really bad moments. I think time will heal us all. Someone then said to Taylor, you're the only one that told the truth. Taylor then responded and said, I'm the only one that has admitted fault in this. Did I give all the juicy details? No, for my sake and theirs. Someone asked, do you feel like others involved have a right to privacy since they weren't the ones who put this on Reddit? She responded, they opened their mouths to the wrong people, so no. If they kept their mouths shut, they would have avoided this all. Someone then asked Taylor, how do you actually find strength for it all, especially friends, quote unquote, turning their back and lying? Taylor responded, I took the hard route, but I'm the only free one at this point. I don't live in fear and I don't give a F if you like me or not. So someone then asked Taylor, are you missing your friendships that are no more? Taylor responded and said, let's just say this did a lot of weeding out and a lot of true ones came out. The next question was, what is the new stuff being said that isn't true? Taylor responded and said, I'm an alcoholic, have had several affairs, and I made them all participate. As if I hold that power and some of them had no idea it was even happening. Someone asked, do you have feelings for Brayden? She responded, I've been open with this. Feelings were there on both ends. Someone then asked Taylor, are you dating? And she said yes. Then someone asked, have you apologized to the wife of the man you went too far with? Taylor responded and said, I did as soon as it all came out. I think I'm having trouble healing because I can't get past how I hurt people. I put pretty much put all the blame on myself, but to a point, I have to stick up for myself because I wasn't the only one involved. Just with our situation, feelings came naturally. Didn't mean to hurt people, even though I did. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All I can say is Taylor said, ain't no secrets no more. Y'all not gonna bully me on the internet. We all was involved. How y'all making me feel bad for something y'all participated in and everybody found out and I was the only one bold enough to come forward? Girl, I'm rocking with you. You did wrong. You admitted you was wrong and you moving forward with life and they trying to hold it over your head. All I can say is, they know not to go too far. They see that Taylor knows that she has a voice and she's not afraid to use it. You see, they keep picking at her, keep on poking that damn bear. Eventually that bear gonna attack. Anyway, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, beautiful people, peace.